I'm about to run the house refrigerator with the Anchor Powerhouse 767. I have run our home refrigerator for 12 hours without being hooked up to any solar or anything with the Anchor 767, but today, or tonight, we're gonna start running it. You can see it is 9.05 at night, and I actually have 300 watts of solar hooked up, but we have no solar coming in right now because it's nighttime. So we're gonna see if we can get this 12 hours out of it like I've gotten before in the past. When I ran it for 12 hours before, I had it plugged directly into the refrigerator, not going through the transfer switch. But today we're gonna to go through the transfer switch and we're gonna run it. And then in the morning, I would say probably about eight o'clock, we'll start getting some sun with that 300 watts and we'll see what comes in. So we're about to, so we got the AC on now. And we're about to swap the refrigerator over, which is going to be D on the transfer switch. All right, so now I hear refrigerator making some noise and air's coming back on. So right now it's pulling 1,242 watts. And now it's back down to... 50 watts. I do have some lights on in there, the, the kitchen lights. I'm about to turn those out as well. So let's go in there and make sure the refrigerator is running like it should. So this is the refrigerator we're going to run. It is a Kenmore. And as you can see, we got, we got power going to it. And I'm about to take this water bottle and we're going to put it in the freezer check that in the morning and see where that's at we're gonna let this run all night all right I just turned out the uh, kitchen lights so it is should be just a refrigerator only something's pulling 18 17 watts so I'm assuming it's the refrigerator and as you've seen as soon as I plugged it in it went up to over a thousand watts that was the compressor kicking on just for a second I guess but I do know before when I ran it for 12 hours, I got, I averaged 150 watt hours. And like I said, I had 17% of the uh, battery left on the power station. But this time we're gonna have the sun coming up in the morning, which start giving us some more power. So with 300 watts, we're gonna see how long we can run this. We're gonna see if we can get, I'll know I'll get 12 hours with it tonight. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow once the sun comes up, see if we can get 24 hours out of it. See if we can make it to, nine o'clock tomorrow night that's my goal anyway so we made it through the night it's been about nine hours we still have 38 percent of the battery left the sun is enough enough for us to start bringing solar in so we ran on the battery only up to this point and uh after nine hours got 38 percent of the battery left so we're going to do the 12 hours with no problem without any solar or anything just running off just the battery so let's go see how the refrigerator is looking and see if our water froze all right so let's see how the refrigerator is looking still got power there let's go see how our water bottle did frozen solid so Looking good. We're going to let this run. I'm suspecting probably about eight o'clock. We'll start pulling in some power from the solar panels that we got up. So about eight o'clock, we should start getting a little power in and we'll see how long this, this thing will go with 300 watts coming in. All right. And so far over this nine hour period, if my math was correct, I averaged 141 watt hours. It's been about 12 hours and we are at 26%. We have 138 watts coming in. The refrigerator isn't pulling any watts right this second. So uh, let's go make sure it's still up and running like it's supposed to be. And see how things are going there. All right, still got power to the refrigerator. So actually I checked it maybe 10 minutes before I did this video and it was actually at 25%. So it's done went up 1% on the battery. So uh, we're checking about an hour and see where we're at, see if we're uh, 
gaining any more power with the 300 watts coming in. All right, so we back and it is down to 22%. And that was probably a little over 30 minutes ago when we was at 26%. We now have 156 watts coming in through the solar, but obviously the compressor kicked on within that last 30 minutes. And now that you can see the solar is at uh, 69. So that's gonna bounce around as the, the clouds move around and we get some sunlight. So we're gonna come back about lunchtime about 12 o'clock and check it and see where we at i was suspecting we should actually start charging this battery up but as of right now it's not we averaged 141 watt hours over the night and we got more than that coming in on the solar so we should start getting some more uh, charge back on this battery we will come back in a little while and check it i've just missed it but you can see the refrigerator is pulling 168 watts. Uh, it was pulling about 250 like just a second ago, but I, I couldn't record it fast enough. So that's when the compressor kicked on. The compressor's in there running right this second. And so uh, it's pulling 165 watts and we have 164 watts coming in. But as you know, the, the refrigerator, the compressor is kicking on and off. It's cycling on and off. Sometimes I come in here and it's pulling no watts and we average over over the night 141 watt hours so just kind of give you an idea what kind of watts it's pulling so it was about 250 when it kicked on and now it's averaging about 165 while the compressor is running it's been a little over 15 hours now so let's see where we're at on the power station and see what kind of percentage we're at we got 29 percent we was down to 22 percent we have 214 watts coming in right now we know we're averaging 141 watt hour 141 watts an hour so that's uh 141 watt hours that that refrigerator is pulling so if you do the math and you subtract the 141 from the 213 we probably have about 70 something watts which is actually charging it back up every hour at this rate and of course that's if the sun the sun is out when we get behind the cloud we're not going to be getting that so uh we're gonna let it keep running at this rate it says we can run it for another eight hours but we're going to let it keep running, keep charging, and then uh, we'll see where we're at later on this evening. So this is the solar array I have it hooked up to. That's three 100-watt solar panels, and I think they're all three different brands. I know one of them is Renogy, and I'm not really sure what the other two are. Uh, we're fixing to try some. I am going to cool these off. It is about, according to my truck, 102 out here. So I'm going to rinse these off with some water and go in and check and see if that actually makes a difference on how much power they're pulling in. So I'm fixing to cool them off. So we now have 230 watts coming in. I should have filmed it before, but before I walked out there and went those solar panels, it was about 205 watts. And then we, was, we had before that, last time I did some filming, it was 215 watts. But now we're up to 230 watts coming in and that's with 300 watt solar array out there. And I have them all hooked, they're all hooked into series coming into it. So it's been about 19 hours since we first plugged in the refrigerator. We are up to 40%. The refrigerator is pulling 110 watts right now. The solar panels are bringing in 10 watts. There are a bunch, a bunch of clouds that just came over. We probably got another hour of sunlight before it gets into the shade, before it gets behind the trees. But uh, right now we, we only pull, pulling in 11 watts because of the clouds. And then it's saying we have uh, 6.5 hours, so six and a half hours of runtime left. My goal was to see if we could get 24 hours out of it. And so far, I think we're gonna make it. So we'll just come back later on and check it. This is, like I said, 300 watts coming in. If I would have had six, let's say if we doubled the wattage coming in, we'd probably be about 
probably about 70, 70 to 80 percent on that battery. I have actually this refrigerator I have run with this same setup with another power station that had the same exact the same exact uh, watt hours, which is 2,054, but I had the expansion battery, so I had over 4,000 watt hours, but the same size, and I have run this refrigerator for one week straight, but that was hooked up to 1,000 watts of solar coming in, so during the day it would completely charge up, and then at night it would run on the battery, and I just, I finally just uh, turned it off because it looked like I could run it indefinitely. But it looks like we're probably gonna at least get to 20 hour, uh, 24 hours out of this with just uh, 300 watts. So we'll come back in a couple hours and see where we at. All right, it's been 24 hours. As you can see, the refrigerator's still working. Haven't had any problems with it. So we're gonna go see what kind of percentage we got left on the Anchor 767. As you can see, it's been 24 hours, and let's see what we got left on the battery. We are down to 8%. So there you go, with a uh, 300 watts coming in, we got 24 hours out of it. Without any uh, solar coming in whatsoever, we would have had we, a little over 12 hours with that refrigerator, I'd say 12, 13 hours. And then with the 300 watts, we was able to get 24 24 hours if you was trying to run this get this fully charged up during the day i would recommend no less than 800 watts coming in had to give you an extra 500 that's just solely charging that battery up because you had the 300 today that was you know we was barely charging the battery up because we was using most of that power to run the refrigerator so that would be my recommendation no less than 800 this the power station can actually handle 1,000 watts coming in, so even if you max it out, that'd be even better. And there's also an expansion battery you can get with it, and with that expansion battery, we could have doubled that runtime. Without hooking up the solar, you could have got 24 hours out of it. Running like we did today, you probably, I don't know if you would have got the full 48 hours out of it or not, but close to it if you had the expansion battery with 300 watts hooked up to it. All right, so I got the, uh, refrigerator swap back over to regular power now i would recommend if you're going to try to charge if you're going to get one and you're wanting to charge the power station back up during the day i would go no less than the 800 watts coming in that was 300 watts there and you seen the most i could get back up was to 40 percent i think 800 watts with the amount of sun i was getting today it would, it would have charged back up without any problem of course it's going to be different for different size refrigerators some's going to use more watts some's going to use less watts so, you know, you might not need as much to charge back up during the day, or you might need more. With an expansion battery, I have the same setup with a, a different power station, but it's exact same watt hours with an expansion battery, which puts it over 4,000 watt hours. As, as the uh, anchor sits right now, it is at 2,054 watt hours is what it is. But you add an expansion battery, you're going to double that, so you'll be over 4,000 watt hours. And with that setup, I am able to run that refrigerator 24-7. Now, of course, I have 1,100 watts. I think I might have said 1,000 earlier, but I actually have 1,100 watts coming in that power station. And then it, during the day, it's, it's fully charged after just a few hours. And then we're just pulling uh, power from the sun to run the refrigerator. And then at night, we're running off those, off that power station with that expansion battery. It would be the same setup with this one. You can actually have up to 1,000 watts coming in with the Anchor 767. We was just doing 300 today. I was just curious how it would do with that 300. I did get 24 hours out of it. That was my goal. Without any power, without any uh, solar hooked up to it, you're gonna get, at, or at least I'm gonna get 12 hours out of it on our refrigerator without any problems. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As with anything, we're gonna have a link down in the comments to our webpage. And if there's something you're interested in, maybe your own Anchor 767 or larger or smaller power station will have those along with some of the uh, solar panels. I appreciate you taking time out with us. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to mention one more thing about these power stations in case somebody's watching and is not too familiar with them. There's actually three ways to charge them up. Solar, of course, and then you can also plug them. This one is actually plugged into a regular wall outlet. I got it plugged in down there and uh, this one will actually bring in 1400 watts. So it's got 1400 watts and it'll charge back up pretty quick like that. 
And then the third way is there's an adapter so you can plug it into a cigarette lighter in your car or your vehicle. So if you're like on a road trip or something, you can charge it up that way. That way is gonna take a, a quite a while because you're gonna max out about 100, maybe 120 watts or so. But that is also a, a third way to charge it up. So I just want to mention that.